37 Quick Facts About Mount Rushmore Number 1 Mount Rushmore was dreamed up in 1923 by South Dakota historian Don Robinson to attract tourists to the state. Number 2 Mount Rushmore is now visited by nearly 3 million people annually. Number 3 Robinson initially wanted to sculpt Western heroes like Lakota Indian leader Red Cloud, explorers Lewis and Clark, and Buffalo Bill Cody. Number 4 Danish-American sculptor Gutzon Borlem was enlisted to help with the project. At the time, he was working on the massive carving at Stone Mountain in Georgia, but by his own account said the model was flawed and the monument wouldn't stand the test of time. He was looking for a way out when South Dakota called. Number 5 Borlem and his son, Lincoln, thought the monument should have a national focus and decided that four presidents should be carved. Number 6 The presidents were chosen for their significant contribution to the founding, expansion, preservation, and unification of the country. Number 7 George Washington, 1789-1797, was chosen because he was our nation's founding father. Number 8 Thomas Jefferson, 1743-1826, was chosen to represent expansion because he was the president who signed the Louisiana Purchase and authored the Declaration of Independence. Number 9 Theodore Roosevelt, 1858-1919, was chosen because he represented conservation and the industrial blossoming of the nation. Number 10 Abraham Lincoln, 1809-1865, was chosen because he led the country through the Civil War and believed in preserving the nation at any cost. Number 11 The mountain that Borlem chose to carve was known to the Lakota Indians as the Six Grandfathers. Number 12 The mountain's official name came from a New York lawyer who was surveying gold claims in the area in 1885. Number 13 Charles E. Rushmore asked his guide, William Shalley, what's the name of that mountain? Shalley is said to have replied what's the name of that mountain? Number 14 In 1930 the United States Board on Geographic Names officially recognized it as Mount Rushmore. Number 15 The carving of Mount Rushmore began in 1927 and finished in 1941. Number 16 The actual carving was done by a team of over 400 men. Number 17 Remarkably, no one died during construction. Number 18 The man who worked on the mountain were miners who had come to the Black Hills looking for gold. Number 19 Although they weren't artists, they did know how to use dynamite and jackhammers. Number 20 The Borglums did hire one artist, Korchak Ziolkovsky, to work as an assistant on the mountain. But after 19 days and a heated argument with Lincoln Borlem, Ziolkovsky left the project. He would later begin another mountain carving nearby, Crazy Horse Memorial, which today is the world's largest mountain sculpture in progress. Number 21 Mount Rushmore once had an amateur baseball team. Number 22 The image of the sculpture was mapped onto the mountain using an intricate pointing machine designed by Borlem. It was based on a 112 scale model of the final sculpture. Number 23 90% of the mountain was carved with dynamite, and more than 450,000 tons of rock was removed. Afterwards, fine carving was done to create a surface about as smooth as a concrete sidewalk. Number 24 The drillers and finishers were lowered down the 500-foot face of the mountain in bows and chairs held by 3 8 inch thick steel cables. Workers at the top of the mountain would hand crank a winch to raise and lower the drillers. If they went too fast, the person in the bows and chair would be dragged up the mountain on their face. Number 25 Each president's face is 60 feet high. Number 26 Jefferson was originally intended to be on Washington's right. Number 27 After nearly two years of work on Jefferson, the rock was found to be unsuitable and the partially completed face was erased from the mountainside using dynamite. Number 28 In 1937, a bill was introduced to Congress to add the image of women's rights leader Susan B. Anthony to the mountain. Congress then passed a bill requiring only the heads that had already been started be completed. Number 29 In 1938, Gutz and Borlem secretly began blasting a hall of records in the mountain behind the heads. 
the Hall of Records was meant to be a vault containing the history of the nation and vital documents like the Constitution. Gutson reluctantly stopped working on the Hall in 1939, but vowed to complete it. The Hall of Records played a role in the plot of the 2007 movie National Treasure, Book of Secrets, starring Nicolas Cage. Number 30 The carving was originally meant to include the bodies of the presidents down to their waists. Number 31 Overall, the project cost $989,992.32 and took 14 years to finish. Number 32 The Presidential Trail is a 0.5 mile walking trail that offers up close and different views of each face. If you start the trail from the sculptor's studio, you'll have to climb 422 stairs. Number 33 Rushmore's resident mountain goats are descendants of a herd that was gifted to Custer State Park by Canada in 1924. Number 34 From the late 1950s to the early 1970s, Ben Black Elk, a famous Lakota holy man, personally greeted visitors to Mount Rushmore. Number 35 Every night, Mount Rushmore gets illuminated for two hours. Since illumination can impact the natural environment, a new high-tech LED lighting system was installed in 2015 to minimize the negative effects of lighting Mount Rushmore. Number 36 Some believe you can see an elephant, or at least the stone face of an elephant, if you look to the right of Lincoln. Others believe if you look at a picture of the mountain rotated 90 degrees, you can see another face. Number 37 Mount Rushmore is granite, which erodes roughly 1 inch every 10,000 years. After about 500,000 years, the faces will likely have lost some of their definition. But at this rate the basic shape of the president's heads might last up to 7 million years. Thanks for watching and please subscribe.